greetings students i hope you all are fine so today we are starting with the new exercise that is exercise 5.3 before proceeding to directly to the exercise i will tell you something what is acute angle right angle then we have obtuse angle then we have straight line or straight angle after straight angle we have reflex angle okay so what do you mean by acute angle in which angle is lying between 0 to 90 or it is less than 90 okay it is less than 90 degree right angle always equal to 90 degree obtuse it it is greater than 90 but less than 180 straight line always equal to 180 degree reflex angle is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree okay so these are the required angles we will going to study in this that is the question number 1 is based on this only so we are doing this Question number one is totally based on this. So now we will come to question number two now. What's there in the question number two? That is, we have to classify each of the angles. Like this, one angle is given in the B part. Some would a kind like of this angle is given. In the C part, you can see this angle is given. In the D part, you can see this angle is given. Okay, beta here you can see this is less than ninety, so it is acute angle. This is greater than ninety. Ninety is like it's greater than ninety, but less than one eighty. One eighty is a straight line, so it is obtuse. you can see this is a perpendicular line so it is right angle and here you can see this is this is a straight line you know na this is a straight line this is somewhat like a straight line so you can see it is greater than it is exceeding 180 degree but it's you can just draw it like that so that you can get it so it's exceeding so it is reflex So I think all the types of angles clear to you. So now we are coming to the next exercise, that is exercise 5.4. It's a part. You can see. Right angle always 90 degree. B part the measure of a straight line obviously 180 degree. Now you have to say true or false. You can find you can do it true false very easily. So now we are coming to question number three. You have to write some examples of acute angle. Acute angle is less than 90, so you can write 30 degree, 60 degree, 79 degree. 70 degree something like that these are the examples of acute angles now obtuse angle greater than 90 and less than 180 so it means like 100 degree 130 degree 175 degree so these are the examples of obtuse angle now in question number 4 we just have to use the protector and write down the measure so you will do it yourself you can measure with the help of a protector next question number 5 it's also the same type question number 6 is also the same type you have to use the protector question
question number 7 is the fill ups you can do it yourself question number 7 it's the same type of that angle obtuse angle the definition the given definition i have given you acute right obtuse straight and the next one we have reflex so all the definitions must be clear to you how we have done it okay everyone so you can find the angles also between the globe it's very easy you can do it how much angle is there the angle you can calculate with the help of protector so now you can do this exercise very easily so now we are coming to the next exercise that is exercise 5.5 I have given you all the definitions very clearly. So now we are coming to exercise 5.5. Okay. Now in the question number 1, we have to take, we'll have the, what are the perpendicular lines? The two lines which make 90 degree angle with each other, they are called perpendicular lines. So this is a symbol for perpendicular. This is a symbol for perpendicular lines. Okay. So in the A part they are saying the adjacent top table. Table top it's like that. You know this is the 3D figure I just have made. So you know it's top table make what angle? Obviously it's like a perpendicular you can see. So you can just see the railway lines. You can see lines of a track are like this. They are parallel lines. They are not perpendicular lines. Now you can think of a letter L. Yes, it's making 90 degree angle. This is okay. This is also perpendicular. Now when we talk about the letter B. In letter B, this angle is there and this angle is there. So it's not looking like that of a 90 degree perpendicular. So this is acute. And this is the flex angle, so it means it's not perpendicular, they both are not perpendicular lines. Okay, so now we are coming to the next question. So now we are coming to the next question, that is question number 2 now. You can do, read it from the book. That is PQ with a perpendicular to the line segment XY. Okay, what's there in the question number 2? That is a line XY we have PQ. Here we have P, here we have Q. This is perpendicular, that is making 90 degree angle. They are intersecting at the point A. So this is the intersection point A. We have to find the angle PAY. Obviously, beta, this is perpendicular. So this is 90 degree. You can see from the figure as well. So this will come out to be 90 degree. Okay everyone, so it's very easy. The next question, there are two square sets. The measure of angle, find at the corner, you can do it yourself. So now we are coming to question number four. With the help of a figure, we will do this question. Question number four, we will do with the help of a figure is there. This is somewhat like a figure is given 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This is a line L. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And you can see from 5, this line is passing like this. And this line, this is a point P and this is a line L. In the first part, they are saying L is perpendicular to M. Yes, this line is perpendicular, it's making 90 degree angle. In the A part, they are saying whether CE equals to EG. We have to check this CE. How we will calculate CE? E is at the point 5. We have already done this type. That is 2 units. We can calculate EG. E is at, G is at 7 and E is at 5. 
you can see this is also come up to be two units so it means they both are equal and in the b part what they are saying does p e bisects c g what's the meaning of bisect what is the meaning of bisect we have to tell this p e i mean this line p e bisect c g this c g this is the c g it means we have to show e is the midpoint of c g okay that is we have to show e is midpoint of c g so how we will show e is the midpoint that is we have to show c e is equals to e g that is we have done in a part so it means this is the this will bisect similarly we can do the c part also here they are saying identify two line segment for which p is perpendicular bisector you have to see the equal distance suppose in ce you know ce is equals to eg so cg is line segment and another we can calculate be and eh bh means bh is also line segment okay which they are perpendicular it is another line segment bg and cg you can just see in the d part they are saying in the d part they are saying ac is greater than fg you can calculate ac this is ac will come out to be 2 and fg this will come out to be 1 it is obviously greater yes it's true the next in this way you can calculate the other part of this exercise of this question so i think this exercise is over